know the difference between log and lun. Most logs will look like this. They have a base, a of a number. And all logs ask us is a to the power of what is b. So for example, if I have log two of four, two to the power of what is four, it's two. Now, if I just have log of b, there's no base there. But by definition, it's log base 10. So it's just asking us 10 to the power of what is b. When you see lun, lun stands for natural log. We just don't say null. <laughs> we say lun. <laughs> now, what does lun actually mean? It's a log, but the base number is e. Log base e. e, Euler's constant or Euler's constant, however you want to say it. So it's saying e to the power of what is b. But not all of us want to keep saying log base e. It's a natural constant. Instead, we say lun. Now, both of these logs can be used to solve any problem where the unknown is in the power. But with this one, we specifically like to solve problems where the base number is 10. So if I was to solve something like this and I wanted to know what x is, I'm going to do log base 10 on both sides. But we only need to say log. Log. Boom. Cancel. x is log 5. With this, we use lun when we're specifically dealing with e. e to the power of x is 5. I would lun both sides. Lun cancels e. x is Learn five. Nice. <laughs>